hello scorpio welcome back welcome back to the channel we are going to tap into your energy scorpio and see what we have for you so if this does resonate here on the yt go ahead and thumbs up the video here all the information for personal readings are in the description box due to this is a general not a personal read so take what resonates and throw out the rest all right so scorpio let's just get into it and see what we have for you Make sure all your videos hit 500 likes. Comment down below what you want to see next, Scorpio. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh. What's going on here? Somebody's being difficult. Okay. Hold on. Let me get some lotion and break this barrier <laughs> real quick. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's going on for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? What's this energy? Yes. Oh my God. All over the place, Scorpio. Someone is all over the place. Okay, let's see what the energy holds for you. For Scorpio. Yeah, there's some lies that they don't want you to know about. This is what I'm hearing. And everything seems to be falling apart with this 10 of cups energy here in reverse. This is about a lover situation, okay? Or if you're dealing with someone that is a Gemini, someone that has a lot of love for you. Tell me more. I'm just seeing like this is like complicated or confusing. I'm also seeing like it's very hard to grasp if you and this person is going to have some kind of energy in the future together. Because I'm seeing the 10 in reverse and the 11, 11. These are two cards for me that points out like you just don't feel like things are going the way you want to go. Or you don't feel like this is right. I'm also seeing the lies is very important because this is a constant vibration. Wow, the six of cups are on the back of the deck. So a lot of you are dealing with a form of contract here. Okay. Tell me more. We have the Ace of Wands energy. We have the Seven of Wands energy in reverse. So there was a, a lot of control in here that was happening. And I feel like whatever this person was trying to hide or be guarded about, this is in reverse. I mean, this is going to be in the open is going to come to the surface like you don't have to work really hard to find out what this is anymore um scorpio because you're going to find out this is happening very very quickly okay i feel like a lot of you are walking around eggshells within this relationship okay because this is about your home this is how your home look at this moment like nothing is um for sure, like I'm getting an unsure energy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing you trying to leave, but this person is holding you back. I'm also seeing the Three of Wands here in reverse. Like this has been happening over and over again. So it's kind of like this cycle or this pattern of this situation that it usually occurs. I'm seeing like a lot of you could be down with a Gemini Major Arcana, but I'm also seeing Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Okay. And it's just like you're trying to move forward, but this person is coming towards you and blocking your path here. And it's like a distance between you and this person that's been happening for a while. So this is not nothing new. This is something that's been happening for a while for you and this energy that's coming through. Something about the lovers, you guys, if this is romantic, you are both still like going back and forth with each other because the lovers is in the upright energy. I'm seeing a breakthrough, okay, because this person does want to have some form of success with you. All right, they do want to feel like they want to make you happy here. This is the goal. They feel like everything that they have ever wished for, you embody that energy. But you are holding this person up, though, because I'm seeing like you're trying to be everything for this person and this person is holding you back from being very successful having that victory you know 
to do what you need to do on your end. Like you're busy nurturing their energy, their life, dealing with their situation here. The five of wands. You have a lot of wands. Seven of wands, six of wands in reverse, five of wands in the upright. So this is a constant vibration. And there's going to be communication about this. There's going to be conversation about this. So at least that's okay. I feel like, you know, at least you have conversation and at least you have the truth. Look at this, the Ace of Swords energy. Yeah, the truth is coming towards this whole situation. Everything that's being hidden, everything that this person was trying to hide is coming to the surface or the universe is going to have this person tell you the truth or if they don't do it, their universe is going to bring other people to actually do this for you. We have the Page of Wands energy as well in reverse. We have the Justice here as well. Okay. We have the Two of Swords energy. Oh my. Oh my. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, the Devil. The Queen of Cups. And what else? The Five of Pentacles in reverse. So they're on their way to do a lot of things. I feel like you still have to like really get in touch with this energy for you and this person to kind of solve this Five of Wands because the Five of Wands is in the upright. So you're always having conflicts towards each other. But I feel like with that said, there's also a lot of conversation that's, that is coming into the situation, but there's a lot of anxiety as well. I feel like you and this person need to definitely find out like a new direction of how to solve the situation because what I'm feeling here is a cycle. This is what I'm getting. There is definitely unjust. So karmic is actually entwined with this energy as well when i say karmic i mean karmic balance something needs to be balanced here this person came off very unfair to you this person did a lot of unfair things to you this person lied to you betrayed you and i feel like you know what you knew this person for a while okay but now they have to make a decision between you and another or another situation this is of what you want this is love do they want to be on the path with you or do they want to be on another path they're trying to decide if they want to give you this you know this is crazy they've been unjust to you they're going to pay for this if they choose wrong by the way they're going to have to learn so whatever they're going to think that is going to work out if they don't do it the right way move the right way they're going to lose whatever they chose all right, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and also the Devil's Energy. Boom, 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 all right? And I'm seeing that this person, um, for some of you, is coming off very toxic. Um, this person is dealing with some form of addiction, okay? Or this person is very egonistic. I feel like this person just has a lot of negative traits around them. And it's like at this point, because they have been um, living in this... Uh, energy for so long it's very hard for them to see any other way so it's like talking to a brick wall and to one trying to change this person this person is have to want to change themselves i feel like when it comes to love you guys this person is like a wall like they don't want you to see their true hearts they don't want you to see their true intentions but something about this five of pentacles where they made you feel abused or they made you feel used this is what i'm getting or they left you in this situation here they're trying to solve that tell me more about this five of pentacles thank you holy spirit wow they're trying to give back okay they're trying to make you live in that like stability that nine of pentacles energy that freedom yeah because this person spent a lot so this is someone that you could have lived with as well scorpios and also seen scorpio aries for those of you a lot of you know controlling energy a lot of power struggle and i'm seeing there was a breakup here and someone is trying to get back on your good graces someone is trying to um, make it work or build a bridge okay this person is very attractive towards you but there's something else that's going on here because i'm getting two twos here like they have to choose between something here and they're like really confused about this tell me more yeah they're losing themselves in this situation they're losing a lot look at that the three of swords they don't know what to do the page of pentacles when it comes to who they want to be with and the stability that they're looking for tell me more about this three 
the source. Tell me more about this book, so it's going to I'm also seeing the High Priestess in reverse. So you guys are very much concerned and you don't trust this energy. You don't trust what this person says. First of all, your first, your first card is lies. Like this person is a liar. That's all they know how to do. And a lot of you are just like not going to entertain this until you find out the truth. I'm seeing like you're exhausted with this energy, but you're still stable. Okay. A lot of you are full or around a lot of security. This could be family, this could be friends, this could be your job. It's like something, you have something that is really like, you know, taking you out of this bubble, okay? Taking you out of this energy of like, hmm, focusing on what's going on. It's like you have something to keep, keep you occupied, if that makes sense. But the angels are saying like, yeah, they made a decision, but you need to make one too within a judgment. So I'm seeing Aries and Libra. Ooh, look at that, the death. And the Queen of Wands wants to show itself. So there's a stuck energy and also you're standing up for yourself finally. Standing up for yourself. Okay. Tell me about this decision. That needs to be made. Oof. My God. Cards are just like flying over. Okay. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Moon. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. So you're telling me that um, there is, first of all, instability here within the judgment, but you're going back and forth with something here. You're still holding up this, this foundation. You feel like, you know, this person still needs help, even though you guys don't get along. And I'm also seeing that within the moon, you just feel like something is very off with the situation, like someone is keeping secrets from you. But I feel like that doesn't, you know, take away the fact that you're still invested in this energy. And this is why the angels are saying, hey, you need to make a decision. We made ours, but you need to make yours too. All right. So what's the outcome for all of this? What's the energy for the outcome? Hmm. I'm seeing the chariot for some of you. Some of you, it might end well. Yeah. Okay, what's the outcome for this situation? What's the outcome, Scorpio? Ooh, one at a time. I'm just going to take the ones that flipped over. Oh my God. Look at that. The chariot, the three of cups energy. Okay, we already have that. Ooh, look, the Knight of Pentacles. So, of course, this person is very slow, but I feel like, you know what, this person definitely wants to give you the world, wants to move forward, wants to, you know, be successful here, but they're coming off quite young as well. And I feel like this person, if you guys are separated, they want to come back home. Um, they want to move forward. This is what I'm seeing. Wow, Queen of Pentacles, look at you as a very stable energy and a very secure energy as well. Um, as the king of pentacles so a lot of you have similar similar energies um, when it comes to the things that you do the craft that you do the interest that you have for your future the break between you and this energy is over and done with so get ready for conversation you guys because i'm seeing conversation here with this energy full scorpio but this is what i have for you i hope that this resonates i am if it doesn't, I will have the playlist linked below in the description and all that jazz. And yeah, make sure all your videos hit 500 likes and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.